As a security operations center engineer, you may occasionally receive reports from users about a suspicious email they have received, and they want you to analyze it to make sure that they don't fall victims to phishing attacks. In this video, we will analyze a real-world case study where customers of American airline companies have received emails promising discounts on tickets and products after completing a survey. However, the campaign main goal was to steal customers' credit card information. Now, as a SOC analyst, you want to understand the first root cause. So you ask, or you, maybe you receive a copy of the email from your colleague. And here you can see, guys, this is the, the original email. Um, you can go to this slide. So here, as you can see, guys, it is like coming from Delta Airlines. So basically, this campaign targets people who travel a lot or frequently. And we can see there's an attachment named Delta Airlines on the uh, upper left. Now, if, basically, you want to see the uh, what are the buttons in this email. So we can scroll down and we can see here that there's a button to continue or to make an action. So basically, above the button, we can read that it is um, promising those who filled the survey rewards or discounts on certain tickets or certain products to, to, to view the discounts to be able to view the discounts you have to uh, continue with the action to, to click on the button and fill the survey so when the user clicked on the button uh, we can see here uh, let me check this out yeah so what happens later as you can see a page looks like an airline uh, web website and here we can see the pop-up saying that dear american airline traveler uh, congratulations, complete the short survey about American Airlines to select your exclusive offer of up to 100 cash value. Okay, so it looks like there, is a, there are discounts on tickets or discount on uh, promising products offered by the airline company. Now, basically, when the user clicked on accept, now the survey starts. The survey um, consists of uh, multiple questions, a couple of questions. Now, when the user finishes answering the questions, Therefore, completing the survey, and here we can see the rewards. So these rewards look like um, certain products such as portable vacuum, camera wireless doorbell, and motion detector. So basically, as you can see, uh, the, the, offered, the offered price is $0. So instead of paying the full price, you get it for $0. Now, if you click on claim reward on one of these products, now here, there is another page where it's actually asking for the payment information, the credit card, uh, as well as other information such as the shipping information. So when the user fills out the credit, credit card information, they will say goodbye to their uh, balance. You know, um, So basically, that is the main behavior in the phishing campaign. On the other hand, when we open the same URL, the URL that we saw earlier in the um, uh, main phishing email basically we opened it on another machine so what happens we witnessed totally different behavior so here we're opening the same url and then we are redirected to a fox news rss feed so it looks like there there is a certain mechanism that decides whether to do the redirection or not based on um, certain conditions we have to figure these conditions out. So as a SOC analyst, you want to understand the full extent of the incident. So, so far, so forth, we know that the, this is the main phishing email that the users received. And basically, when the user clicked on continue, you see there is a URL opened. So here is the complete URL, can be found here. Now that's the first IOC, Indicators of Compromise. This is the URL that opened. Now, interestingly, on the other hand, when the page did not open the survey, it redirected to another URL. And that's the other URL we have. That's the uh, second indicator of compromise. We want to collect the indicators of compromise. So far, so forth, we have two URLs, which means we have two IP addresses. So far, so far, we don't have hashes. Uh, despite the fact that there is an attachment here. In the main email, there is an attachment Delta Airlines. But for now, we don't have access to, the, to this attachment. Usually, you have to analyze the attachment. But uh, for... Uh, this case, the attachment doesn't contain anything. As you can see, when the attachment is opened, it doesn't contain anything, and there is no malicious activity coming out of this attachment. So we're going to uh, maybe you can put the hash of the attachment on your report as a uh, in the margin. 
But for now, the two main indicators of compromises are the first link that redirects to the survey and later to the main credit card phishing page and the other link which redirects to the RSS feed. So if I want to find out what is the determining factor of whether the redirect to the RSS or to the airlines page occurs. So to find out, we can have to uh, extract the files. So certainly there is some script that's doing the trick. So here in the HTTP requests, we can highlight and we can take a look at the requests. Basically, remember that the, this is the main URL that we are analyzing, right? We can click on this and this will bring up static discovering. When bringing up static discovering, we can click on download. When you click on download, you'll be able to uh, have the file for offline analysis. You can also click on hex for hexadecimal view and also you can click on text. And as you can see, this is the, the uh, part of the script. You can also take a look at this one. And this is also the other part of the script. So when you download both of these, remember to download these scripts to uh, a machine that's controlled, a sandbox. So basically here, I downloaded this to my Kali machine. Now right click on this and choose to open this using mouse pad. So this is a part of the script which we need to analyze. Additionally, we can go to the URL that opened the airline page with the survey. See here, the, this is the main URL as shown in the bar, in the URL bar. Now to have this for analysis or to extract the relevant files, we can click on network inspector. And from here, we can uh, look the URL or find the URL. So here, this is the main URL, as you can see. This is the one that we have analyzed. We can click on this, but this is not clickable. Let's see uh, this one. So see, this one leads to a PHP file, PHP page. You can click on this, and this brings up static discovering. Click on hex, text view, and this is another part of the script. Some of the, as you can see, some, th some stuff is obfuscated and needs to be deobfuscated. You can also download this for further analysis. Upon inspecting the URL, we see that there is a JavaScript that is triggered when we open the main URL. So basically, the main URL was the URL where the, uh, the, the button redirects. So basically, this URL, when analyzed, there is a JavaScript here that is triggered when you open the URL. As you can see, there is a condition here. The condition checks if the user's browser is, or the user agent, sorry, if the user agent matches one of these strings. If it matches one of these strings, then it means that the URL is being opened by a crawler or a bot, such as maybe a Google bot or a ping bot. Now, if this happens, a redirect loop occurs. Now, the redirect loop redirects you to the URL that we saw earlier, which is the RSS feed. Now, here, as you can see, when we open the URL in, that, in, 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 the, in this machine, it redirected us to the RSS feed. On the other hand, on this machine, as you can see, it redirected us to a different URL, which show, which actually uh, shows the survey and then the credit card phishing page. Now, if you go back to the script, as you can see, there is a, another condition here, which is making sure that the cookies are enabled. If the user agent matches one of these strings, and if the cookies are not enabled, we see the RSS feed page, right? But if one of these conditions uh, pass the check, basically, we see the survey page. Okay, now that we have analyzed the script and we got a hold of the logic of this attack, it's time now to extract the indicators of compromise. And let's first start with the main email. So here we see the main email that triggered all of this incident. Now, remember that we have two URLs. The URL that opened uh, after we clicked on the continue button here and the URL that opened after the redirection. Basically, you can extract all the URLs from the script, but uh, you can also take them from the uh, page here. You can just run uh, NSLOOKUP. So basically CMD here, and we can NSLOOKUP. And I copy the main domain and paste it here. Okay, so see, this is a non-authoritative answer and this is the IP address. Okay, so that's the fourth indicator of compromise. So we have two IPs and two URLs to be written on the report. And also we can use these IPs and domains in your firewall to block any action or visit triggered by uh, the user. So basically some users may have opened, some users may not have opened. You have to investigate other reports, 
but basically we want to prevent any further visits to these links and to these IPs. So it's recommended to write a detection rule or a security rule in your firewall to block any visit. Okay, now let's go to uh, the lookup here. So we click on, in any run, we can click on uh, reports and here in the filter, I'm going to choose from the list email files and here in the hashtag, you write Fox Whoops. When you search, you will see a list of the analysis sessions or reports where you can investigate the email or the phishing email in case you are asking how to access uh, these um, uh, these URLs. So basically, I can I can put these in the description, or you can just do that yourself. You can put the hashtag here and search for the various emails that actually have the same content or similar content where uh, users were actually tricked into clicking some buttons or to fill some surveys in order to extract credit card information. So that was the main purpose of this phishing campaign, to extract users' credit card information. And that's a typical case you would see uh, in any organization where users would report uh, such incident to the SOC team. And as a SOC analyst, you have to investigate the phishing email, extract the degrees of compromise, and maybe write a report. All right, so that was the Fox Whoops phishing campaign. We saw that this campaign mimicked trusted airline brands like you see here, it was the Delta Airlines. It mimicked these brands to deceive users into providing their credit card information. And with this analysis with Anyron, we saw that uh, this was a, a case of phishing to steal credit card information. Now, the key takeaway here, guys, is that always to check the emails, especially when they come with links and attachments. Check the source. Even if the email looks like coming from a trusted source, you should always check the sender. So the sender here, sender address doesn't come from Delta Airlines. It comes from uh, w2m.com, as you can see in the uh, header here. Or basically, actually, it comes from this domain, slims.com. It's not Delta Airlines. Verify the sender all the time before clicking on any links or any attachment. And when in suspicion, send these to your SOC analyst so that if it's worth it, they will open a case study and uh, analyze the full event. All right, so some of you guys always ask me, where can we find the source files or the source links? So you can find the source links of these uh, analysis sessions in the comment section of this video, this one and this one. And if you want to sign up and do the analysis yourself, you can just go to this link and you will find it in the description with Enron. Sign up with your business email, S put your name, business email and password and sign up. And then we'll be able to access the analysis sessions here and do whatever you want, like restart the analysis from the button here you can always generate a report uh text report and you can always export this uh, and have it offline all right that was it take care